Number 14, Clockwork Drummer. Primary series. What I thought I'd do today, because uh, I really haven't really talked about rudiments. And I've never been in a drum line. I, I, I didn't grow up in drum corps, so uh, it, it, you guys, you're different. You know, I mean, you, you, I, I look up to you with the rudiment thing. You're going to be taking it serious. But rudiments have kind of like a dirty name a little bit. You know, not a dirty name, but people don't do it as much as I did it or guys in my generation did it. So I want to show you how... Even if you're not into rudiments, you're really playing rudiments because rudiments is just sticking. So if here I have a paradiddle. So if I do something like this, that's a paradiddle. So rudiments are just sticking, and, and, and I think anybody, you know, if you're serious, you're going to, uh, Vic Firth has a, any site, just Google rudiments and, and try to learn them, you know, and uh, it also helps your reading. But what I wanted to show you is fun with rudiments, and here we have, like, we can do, like, a paradiddle thing, right? We have our paradiddle, and so we do, like, a fun thing. Now, another thing we can do with this paradiddle, instead of just going, right, it's all about accents. So I'm going, if I do something like, it sounds cool, right? It doesn't sound like I'm just doing a paradiddle on the snare drum or pad and uh, in a boring kind of a way. So that's number one. Rudiments are stickings, and with accents and implying grace notes, you can make any rudiment sound really good. Now I wanted to show you something that I grew up with. We have our a dotted eighth note, a sixteenth note at the end, one the end uh, we have the end of two, one and two and again we have on three, three and uh, and then on the end of four we have another eighth note. So on the bass drum this is what it sounds like. One the end of two. Now watch. I'm going to just do paradiddles on the top. Now listen to this. So, you see, and that all I'm doing is... When I heard that when I was a kid, I go, wow, that is so cool. <laughs> but wow, that's the heaviest thing I ever heard. And that's all it is, a paradiddle with that pattern on the bass drum. That's one example. Another example is a simple thing like a drag. Two little sixteenths with a little half moon attached to a quarter note. Now watch this. See how I had fun with that? That's a drag. No matter how you call it or see it or hear it, that's a drag. But I'm just not going like this. Real strict, right? Sounds cool, right? Another thing, flam. Very important. A flam, again, just a little grace note, a little tiny, it looks like a little half note with a little half moon underneath attached to the, the next note in front of it. So I'm just dropping, it sounds like what, it, what, it, what, it, what it's called. I'm just dropping that note. I'm just dropping the left hand a little bit in front of the the stick, the right hand. Here we go. Yeah, we hip that sounds. 
So, you know, <laughs> learn the rudiments. They're a good thing. There's so much, and, and just do what I say. Do them like for a little while, formally, and then you can apply them to the drum set. Swiss Army rudiments. Great. Simple. Right? And then you bring it to the drum set. So you see, you can have a lot of fun with this stuff, and it's never dated. It's classical, and it, it it's it's it doesn't it goes through every decade, and it you can always make it sound hip, and you know at the same time, one thing I haven't mentioned, you know, go back, don't start here, but always apply all the stuff you learned in the beginning of primary series to now. You know, I've lately I've seen a lot of great drummers, and uh, no big deal, you know, but I've seen a lot of sticks go flying. So, you know, there's something to have, you keep that full, firm fulcrum, you don't go too nuts, you know, don't get, you don't get too free, you know, after you've done things formally. And uh, I used to not see that as much. I'm seeing a lot of sticks just go flying on very important, uh, in, you know, like, like videos and stuff. Uh, let's put it this way. It's like dropping a guitar. It's like dropping a, a saxophone. That's the way I was brought up, okay? So I think it's important. And... So, you know, I'm always keeping that firm fulcrum. I'm not, I'm not, I'm always keeping loose form, but there is form there, you know. And uh, I'll see you next week with a clockwork drummer.